Hello guys, my name is Ekwereka Creation. Guys, I want to say massive thank you to every one of you that like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so, so, so much. Today, I'm going to show you how to cut um, padded princess cut, princess that blouse fitted. Okay guys, let's get started. The measurement we're going to work with today are shoulder 16, um, bust point 10, nipple to nipple 8, under bust 14, half length 17, bust 44, waist 38, and hip 46. Thank you. So, today, um, the measurement we are working with today is the hip measurement because the hip measurement is the biggest measurement. The uh, biggest uh, circumference is um, 46. So we are working with 46 today. So for us to know if this uh, paper will be enough for what we want to do with it. So let me check. Um, uh, 46 divided by 4 is um, 11.5. Okay, let me see. 11.5 plus two and a half inches that because I'm going to take off two and a half inches that plus two and a half 11.5 plus two and a half mm -hmm. okay plus two inches of that okay the paper will be enough for us today okay so I want to go through all this with you guys but I know that you people have already know all this but I'll still go through it okay I'll start from the shoulder from shoulder to my boss point is um ten plus half half inch seam allowance from shoulder to my boss point. You see, it's ten. Okay. Um, the measurement I'll start from the shoulder. My boss point is um ten plus half inch seam allowance is ten and a half. You can see this line is boss point. And this line is ten and a half because my boss point is ten plus half an inch similar allowance is ten and a half. And this line, this one, this one is under boss. My under boss is fourteen plus half an inch similar allowance is fourteen and a half. This is under boss line, fourteen and a half inches. My but my under boss is fourteen plus half inch fourteen and a half. Then this is half length, this line is half length. My half length is 17 plus half inch seam allowance is 17 and a half. And this one is the full length of the blouse. The full length is 24 plus half an inch seam allowance is 24 and a half. Then this remaining one inch is for seam allowance. The one I, this one is for seam allowance because we will use lining to sew, uh, to turn it. Okay guys, then the next thing I want to show you is how to get nipple to nipple because this line is nipple to nipple. This line is nipple to nipple. So for us to get nipple to nipple, my nipple to nipple is 8. 8 divided by 2 because this paper is on fold. 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus half an inch seam allowance is 4 and half. So this line is four and half four and half four and half again here on the boss is four and half here again four and the uh, four and half here and the full length four and half four and half all the way down okay now I'm going to show you how to take that from this from the under, from waistline, this um, half length is the waistline. So from here, I'm going to take one inch. Okay, I'm going to take that, mark that on the under bust now. On this side, I'm taking one inch on this side. From here to here is one inch. I'm taking one inch here. On this side, the cup side, I'm taking one and a half on this side. This is where you can get your this is where you will get your cup, boss cup. 
one and half one and half so but here is up to you it depends on what you want you can take more than what i take you can take two here if that person say if your boss is bigger like some you might be my size the same boss measurement with me the same size with me but your boss might be bigger than mine if it's bigger you will increase it from this side you can take two you can take two and a half you can take three so only on this side that's where you will increase it only on this side okay so here is half length which is um waist line on the waist line i'll take one inch here one inch on this side and one inch on this side as well one inch so here i'll come down i'll mark i'll come down by two inches i'll come down here two inches i'll mark two inches here i'll mark two inches here then i'll connect it from here so from here you mark two inches sorry about the line you mark two inches from that two inches line you curve it you curve it like this so from here this one <laughs> so good. It did not look like C. I want it to look like C. And it's okay. So you curve it. Then from here, let me use the ruler to do this one. You connect, you connect this one to half length. And you connect this one as well to the waistline. So here you will extend this line to you will extend the dot to three inches here. Three inches here. So you connect it to here. You connect this one. Okay, we have this one. So, um, the way I do it, I don't mark armhole because I know where I can put the dots. I don't mark it because I'm not gonna take my um shoulder measurement, actual shoulder measurements now. I want to do them when I finish joining, but I'll just mark like ten inches for to for maybe for easy understanding. I'll mark like ten inches. Big, okay, let me do it. My shoulder is um. My shoulder is um sixteen. Sixteen divided by two, is eight. But I will not mark eight. Why I don't want to mark eight is because after joining all this, if I cut the armhole out now, after joining all this, it will be short somewhere in the middle. In somewhere where I will join the princess cut. On the armhole it will be short so that's why I don't like cutting it off till after joining I will now cut it um, I will now put it on fold take my shoulder actual shoulder measurement and shoulder slope then I'll cut the armhole but now let me just take 10 inches then my round armhole is a uh, 17 but I'll mark it. I'll mark it.
So, by the time I'll finish joining, from where I'll take my, I'll take the princess that from half of my armhole. When I measure the armhole, I'll take the princess that from there. But now I'll mark six because sometimes, most time I use six. I'll mark six. This is six. Then I'm going to take extra one and a half inches off from here. So because I'm going to take one and a half inches off here, I'll mark um, three quarter on this side and three quarter here on this side okay, also. Three quarter is... Okay, um, so I'll mark six inches here, I'll use six inches. From six inches, I'll take extra one and a half inches off from this uh, princess coat from the armhole. So I'll mark three quarter on this side and three quarter here. So this one is a six inches line. This one is three quarter, this one is three quarter. So from here to here is one and a half inches, the dots. So I'll connect the line here. This one as well. Okay. So here, when you want to take your princess that this uh, princess that from your armhole mark half of your armhole if you after marking half of your armhole which is the middle line then take three quarter here and three quarter on this side to make it one and a half because I, this is the all the dots here the that i'm going to take here is one and a half three quarter on this side three quarter on this side so let me write it three over four inches from here Three, four, four inches. So three quarter, three quarter from here. Then you will connect all the line to this place. So that's it. So now I'm going to cut it out. But let me go through it again with you guys. From here, I mark on the boss here, you know, here, I mark one inch here and one and a half on this side. Because this side is the side that you can increase your cup. If the person have bigger boss, the cup is on this side. You can increase it on this side. Then, on the waistline, I mark one inch on this side and one inch on this side. And I extended this line, this that line, to three inches. Here is three inches. So, from here, this is the boss point. From boss point... I came down to two inches. I, I marked two inches. From that two inches, I curve it to that one and a half inches that I marked here. So then here is the princess cut. How I got the princess cut from you mark half of your armhole. When you mark half of your armhole, then you take extra one and a half inches out. The extra one and a half inches is three quarter, three quarter. That's one and a half. Then you connect the line after connecting it then I'll take the measurement now my boss measurement is uh, 11 44 divided by 4 is 11 so my boss measurement is uh, 44 divided by 4 is 11 11 plus this two and a half I want to add it because I want to I like to have extra allowance plus two and a half that I took from here is a 13 and a half plus two inches seam allowance 15 and a half then here my under boss I'll use the under boss measurement when I will shape the, uh, the blouse 
Well, I'll mark my half length. My half length is at 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. 9.5 plus 2.5 is 12. Plus 2, and 2 inches, see my allowance, 14. Here is my hip. My, is my hip. My hip is uh, 46. Divided by 4 is um, 11 and a half plus, um, I will still put the 2 and a half here, plus 2 and a half inches is um, 11 and a half plus 2 and a half inches is 14. 14 plus 2 inch seam allowance, 2 inches seam allowance is uh, 14 plus 2, 16. 16. Okay, I'll connect the line. Okay, I will cut it out now. Okay, I will cut it out now. Okay, so I'm going to cut everything now, but I want to write as uh, this here one one and half inches from here, one here, here one, here this side one. So I'm going to cut it out now. Cut all this area, all these places out. don't want all this edge to be sharp try as much as possible so that it will not be sharp while cutting it
Okay. Okay. This is how it looks like. So guys, when you want to join, join from down, join from down, from down up here. So after joining it, then you will put it on foot. After joining, you put it on foot. You put it on foot again after joining. When you put it on foot, you must have joined it after joining it. Then you take your actual neck and um, shoulder measurements. Your right shoulder measurement. After taking your right shoulder me measurement, you mark your armhole. After marking your armhole, you mark one inch to take your shoulder slope. After doing it, then it's okay. Then you can use any sleeve that you like, any sleeve of your choice. This is how to cut a fitted princess that padded fitted princess that blouse. Guys, this is the back part of it. The back. So here is zip allowance is one inch is one inch zip allowance one inch zip allowance then this line is um I want to take my dart from nine inches here is nine inches but where I mark the line is nine and a half this line is nine and a half that's where I will take the dart from that's where I'll connect the dart from down to this place I'll connect the dart from down to t this place so i want to take it from nine inches but half an inch is same allowance that's why it's nine and a half inches so here is um 17 and a half my half length this line is my half length that's where i'll take my this line that's where i'll take my waist measurement so here my half length is 17 plus half inch same allowance is 17 and a half so i marked this line is 17 and a half And this one is um twenty four and half because my full length of this blouse is twenty four, so a plus half inch seam allowance is twenty four and half. Then this remaining one inch is seam allowance because you will add lining to it. Okay, so from this line. To here is nipple to nipple. My nipple to nipple is um eight divided by two is four plus half an inch same allowance is four and a half. So from here to here is four and a half inches. You can see it's four and a half. This place is four and a half as well because it's still nipple to nipple all the way down. So the way I'll take that here, I will extend this to 3 inches or 4. Let me leave it to 3 inch, inches. 3 inches here. Then, waist, here is the waistline. That's where I'll take the dart. I'll take half inch from here. This side half inch and this side half also. Then I'll connect it to this point. This one connected to this point. Okay, let me do it for this time. Okay, so here 
I'll connect this one to this uh, three inches here. Just like So, I'll mark I'll mark shoulder here Anyway, the shoulder at the back even if I mark it, it will not make any difference but you, for you to do it you would, I will mark the same 10 inches here as well for now but when you put finish you put them together you put the front one and the back one together you put the front one on this line when you fold it you put the front one on this line when you finish joining it on this line then take your neck measurement your right uh, shoulder then armhole and armhole slope uh, slope <laughs> so I'll take 8 inches again down I hope this will help on this line I prefer to do this with my hand than using this. So here now, because I didn't take a straw that here, I'm not coming down. I'll just take like half. Okay, so just look of one inch. Okay, five here. I'll mark five because you know you take one inch off because of so that shoulder slope, the slant line on the shoulder you take one inch off so because half four is half here but because of that shoulder slope i'll make it this is four now but it's five from here so five this is where i'll take the back princess cut line i'll now mark it <laughs> from here connect it to here Then when you finish joining, I'll cut it off now. Take the measurement. After taking measurement, I'll cut it off. Please, when you finish joining, then put the front and the back together and take your right neckline, the neckline you want, then your shoulder measurements, shoulder drop or shoulder slope, then the armhole. You mark your armhole, cut off your armhole. Then you can use any sleeve of your choice, any, leg, neck, any neckline of your choice. Okay, I'll put the measurement now. My boss is 11 and a half, 11, 44 divided by 4 is 11. 11 plus this 1 inch, 12 plus 2, 14. 2 inches is seam allowance. So here, so here my waistline is 38 divided, 38 divided by 4 is 9.5. Nine and a half plus one ten plus two inches twelve. Two inches is the same allowance. Did I do the two inches as well? Nine and a half plus one inch is ten and a half. One, two, twelve and a half, yeah. Twelve and a half. Okay. My hip is um 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. 11 and a half plus 1. 12 and a half plus 2. 12 and a half plus 2, 14 and a half. It's better to have enough allowance. So I'll connect it.
Okay, I'll cut it. Um, here is half inch. This side is from here. Half. Half inch. So here is half of the ample. Half of the ample. By the time you mark one is off, then half of the ample. This is how to cut the back parts. I'll mark, I'll cut it now. Please all the all this edge, don't let it be sharp, especially when you will sew it. Don't let it be sharp, don't let it be a sharp edge. Okay guys, so this is how to cut the back. You can use it for 8 pieces, you can use it for 6 pieces, you can use it for 12 pieces, both front and back. Look, this princess cut, this padded, this is padded princess cut um, fitted blouse. But you can use it for, this is how to get the princess cut first. Okay, thank you so much. Let me show you how it is. This is how it is. When you sew it, if once you sew it very well, it will not have excess here. Try and sew it very well so that it will not have excess display on this point, this area. Is it? Okay, guys. This is how to cut it. You can use it for six pieces, for eight pieces, guys. Guys, thank you so so much. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, if you like my video, please give me thumb up. If you have subscribed, try to give me like, uh, press the like button for me, please, if you like my video. Then if you're new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks.